Well guys, hope you're doing well in this video. I am updating a Leo <coughs> Miner. Looks like uh, if you look just at their tutorial on F2 Pool, um, it still, it just have all the information how to set the pool, but there is no uh, Miner link because it's constantly, uh, looks like being updated. So what I found just uh, recently is this Miner right here. it has the update right there so there's a new link uh, in the widget link so basically on the layout minor drive there's a widget link there and where you open it and just recently it was 3.0.8 and now it's an older version now it's 3.0.10 i usually copy the full link here from there and paste to uh, hive os uh, fly sheet because if I just do change this number, apparently it didn't work for me once I did update uh, the miner here, uh, I mean the fly sheet. So what I did, I update the fly sheet before with 3.08 and I did only change to 4420 instead of 4400, but the whole stratum URL, URL was different. It was not SSL and it didn't work. So I just updated this miner to uh, three. Uh, is it a three point zero point ten version? And look at this. Now finally we get in reading. Uh, we get a reading of the miner uh, each card hash rate. So before I didn't know it, it was a guess. But now I can see every hash what it's doing, uh, if the card performing properly or not. So the bottom line, it's the new update just came out. Now, it, is it doing better on the hash rate? So this one is an old, uh, this is the same rig, 18 cards, I mean, eight cards. I cannot see any hash rate, but overall it's doing 2129 mega hash, two point, I mean, 2.129 mega hash, right? And let's take a look at the updated rig right here. It's actually doing uh, a little bit better. It's showing 2.2. Not huge difference, but a little bit better. And I think uh, the most important is I can see now all my cards in here, which are uh, really nice. And I could see all the reading, how many kilo hash on each card, which I think it's kind of important because if one of the cards not performing or needs to be adjusted, so yes, go ahead and update to 3.110. Uh, it does look like perform slightly better. Let me compare my larger rig like here at 12 cars. I do in 31.92. This one doing 31.888, a little bit less hash, right? On the same 12 rigs. And let's just go ahead and uh, update that. I just create this fly, fly sheet. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. So let's update. All right, so it's going to start mining pretty soon while it's updating. Let's check it out. So when you're creating, you, you select your coins, you select the pool, uh, I mean the wallet. Uh, so you have to do the wallet. I have F2 pool wallet. That's my uh, miner name. And then configure in miner. There is no miner. There is no pool yet there in HiveOS. But you do custom miner here when you come to the minor setup so create custom just start typing cas c a c u s and it pops up that the custom right and then do when you go to the additional settings or configuration custom configuration there uh once you paste that link that's where you paste that http url link for your miner to download right so make sure copy and paste the whole entire string there from the um have to pull uh, that minor WJet widget whatever link right and uh, probably have to constantly check those um, that files because it gets updated and you miss out so I don't know how for how long it's been a new file there it doesn't really give me a date if it's updated yesterday or I just missed another week right now can't be week because I just <laughs> Two days ago, I just put the latest was 3.08, two or three days ago, right? Uh, yeah, 
anyways just check it out because that looks like the miner is getting updated and you want to update to the latest especially to show then the stratum apparently is the same i copy and paste anyway the, the, the stratum pool url from the actual pool on the pool you go to home right there and at the bottom there of uh, your f2 pool when you select your allow coin and their link just right there for the mining you can just copy there if you go to mining tutorial their link doesn't give you that link it doesn't give you that stratum uh to download your uh latest um miner it just have all the information but it doesn't have uh, the miner for Hive OS. Um, so make sure go ahead and check that and download. Uh, I mean, and use the latest URL link for installation, and make sure you're using the pool URL that is current. Uh, now for hash algorithm, I just put the Leo. It's pulled a Leo miner there and the wallet and worker name. You can just select right from here. Also, extra argument CPU off seems to be a good argument there just to add that up in there. It's not in the miner here, so I have to manually type it in. Then you click apply changes and here you go. So let's see if this miner gonna start. Let me refresh here if it's already took. Okay, now it's showing all this beautiful 350. That's what we, will, what we wanna see, 350 mega hash. So let's check uh, and compare to other miners. Well, because this rate fluctuate a lot, look at this, now it's showing like five mega hash. Before it was 3.2, it goes all the way to 2.9, but we wanna compare Apple to Apple in the real time. And let's see if this, the updated one, doing any better, not yet. It just, it's still 4.171 because we just started it shows 440 mega hash maybe it will be just not fluctuating that much going up and down a lot so because when it was down it was not as down right there on my 12 so now it's showing 35 and 33 on this one and 52 and 5 so yeah definitely better gets an extra like 100 or 200 Point two hundred point two mega hash, I should say. I'm looking at that like a five thousand mega hash, but it's not. It's five point two, but it's better. It's five point two versus five point seventy nine, so almost two hundred point two mega hash better there, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and update all the rigs to the latest uh, fly sheet. How do we do that? I'm just gonna go ahead and boom, select actually all. And I'm gonna unselect the one that I just updated. I just updated the number four and number 12. I don't need to update again. And those are offline. And I'm gonna click uh, here, select the fly sheet all the way on the top there. And I'm gonna select the coin so I don't have to go through millions of the fly sheet I already created, right? So I'm gonna just select a Leo from here. And I have only three fly sheet. The latest one is 3.010. That's the name of the fly sheet I gave. I'm gonna click on that and apply. It's gonna apply through all of my miners. Uh, Wait a second, this one on Asterix. I want to change that. Let's. This is my test on Asterix, so let's go back. And again, we're going to select the coin Aleo there. Make sure you don't apply to the rigs you don't want to. And I'm going to select this latest fly sheet and apply. So now I'm going to update my entire farm to this new uh, miner. So yeah, just make sure don't miss out. I think it's a good... I really like that and yeah, now you could see all the hashes look at that it's actually still fluctuating a lot to be honest you know like it's going to 440 but it's not as high as on the other one it was jumping up as it's pretty crazy like that's why we see the big difference see it so it's it's higher there well it's still kind of fluctuate i think a lot because it's gonna go to 5.2 and it drops to sometimes 2.3. But we'll see how we do on the pool uh, next day. I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see what are we uh, really doing as far as the uh, average network, 
hash rate so far I'm a little bit behind I compare all my rigs to hash rate that I know I'm slightly behind on the uh, hash rate 24 hour then uh, hash rate that no report so that's really kind of important to keep in mind if you are using hash rate that no looking at the uh, how many allow you're gonna get and all that stuff and the hash rate there what you're doing is like a 0.33 per card i'm actually getting like 0.32 or 0.31 in the real time as of 24 hours mining so uh, a little different there a little bit less watts there so i don't know if that's just kind of like uh depends on the card situation obviously so you have to really take that with a little uh, your own uh, calculation because you're not every card gonna do exactly what it shows there on the hash rate that all right with that being said just use your own uh, calculation when you see your actual uh, 24 hour hash rate to make sure your performance of the rig is where you need to be so i'm gonna wait and see how am i gonna change that overall rate because all the rigs are being updated now let's click refresh we hopefully gonna be uh, up there let's see if the power consumption uh, increased uh, probably not we still at uh, 17 kilowatt I don't know if we did increase slightly maybe just a little bit a little tiny bit maybe by a hundred or 200 watts so that maybe explains where we getting a little bit of hash rate extra <laughs> but and then we're gonna want to clear all this notices okay now let's check and make sure yeah we can get the reading now now i can see what my uh, 38 is doing per card and 37 is really nice uh finally they get there all right thanks for watching guys that's it for this update i hope you uh have a good day and we'll see you on the next one click the like button consider subscribing to my channel we'll see you bye